Now, this is a picture of Adair Fish's twins during happier times. They were in foster care, playing outside, enjoying life like any little girl should. But years later, when Fish regained custody, the twins would be in a struggle to survive while their mom was struggling with her demons. Car 120, bumper 23, medic 554. It's life. It happens in the system and it happens out of the system. Apartment 104, unconscious, A3. What did we do wrong? What, what went wrong here? When 43-year-old Adair Fish regained custody of her twins in November of 2019, tragedy would strike nearly three years later. In November of 2022, court records say Fish called EMS saying one of the twins was dead. The other, with known birth defects, was unresponsive. When they arrived at the apartment, court documents say this is what they found. Trash that was approximately two to five feet high off the floor, debris, old food, and the decomposing body of four-year-old Ivy House wrapped in a blanket. Super sad when it happens in the system because you think, well, we're supposed to protect children and families. That's why we're creative. Lori Snell has helped parents regain custody of their children for the past 25 years. So Fox 4 problem solvers sorted through court records of fish with Snell's help to see what went wrong. In April of 2018, Fish and the girl's supposed father lost custody of the twins. The court blamed drug abuse and mental health. A George ordered Fish to undergo drug treatment and psychiatric and psychological evaluations in order to regain custody. The supposed father was supposed to take a DNA test, but court records say the caseworker could never reach him. It wasn't until more than a year later in a July 2019 hearing that Fish finally showed the court she was getting all the required help. From there, the judge slowly relieved the restrictions on her, first allowing longer visits, then allowing the girls to move back in with their mother, and finally ending supervision in March 2020. With all of your experience, you can say that if she regained custody, she earned it. At least for the, at that moment. At that moment, she must have been doing well enough. So what went wrong? Representative Carrie Ingle says it's not a simple question. I think that this was the perfect storm and confluence of a lot of really, really bad things at once. As the COVID pandemic set in, Fish wouldn't venture out of her apartment. She ordered in groceries and wouldn't open her door to visitors. Fish later told first responders that she had stopped taking her psych meds in early 2022 and had hallucinations. She said she believed that people had been in her apartment, drugging her girls with needles and harming them. A neighbor who hadn't seen the girls became worried and called police in March 2022. Officers responded, knocked on the door, and no one answered. They closed the call. So those touch points with the community were, weren't there. The family system, it do doesn't sound like there was one. It was one of my biggest fears during COVID was that, you know, kids weren't going to daycare, they weren't going to school, and that has been a social safety net for kids for a really long time. And even though Fish had a prior history of mental health issues, once the court released her from supervision, there were no required check-ins for her or the children. How do you think the system could better protect kids so this won't happen again? Well, um, it needs to sort of reform itself in some ways because, and, and finance itself better, right? The state does not provide the funds necessary to provide the kind of social workers that should be there for families. There are services out there for parents, but they have to be willing to accept them. You know, maybe the system isn't ready or able to help a parent who doesn't want to seek the help. For sure. Mm -hmm. And um, the system is imperfect, really. Um, it really should be utilized for these kind of severe cases, and we should keep them open longer if there's, um, if there's the knowledge of the history. We found everyone did what they were supposed to do, yet one child died. So the question is, could this happen again? Well, the answer is yes, unless changes are made. Tia Johnson, Fox 4, working for you.